the reason for the project is to, well, basically to get rid of the dirt road so that the uh, Aboriginal communities up there have got um, improved access to health and to education. And I guess one of the things about this project is that it's a project that's really worth doing. Main Roads WA are doing this project by a, um, a direct controlled method which is, is a bit different. No, normally we would engage a major contractor, but in this, in this case we're actually building it this way. And the reason for that is to engage with the Aboriginal communities up here. So we have um, 12 Aboriginal businesses on site. Our target is to have 45% of the workforce being Aboriginal. In fact, we're achieving, as of November last year, 57%. Right now we've got scrapers arriving. And they'll be working in full swing. We expect to get all the earthworks done for the entire 90 kilometres and part of the, of the gravelling as well. And we expect to get some, depending upon the weather, we expect to get 15 kilometres of bitumen seal completed. And then uh, the following year, 2020, we expect to get the, uh, finish the gravel and also get it fully sealed and then all the signs, you'd be surprised just how much uh, goes with it. So with the main road coming along and looking at uh, local employment, it, it worked out fantastic because a lot of our people now have got their tickets and on their resumes they can uh, put down they've operated various machines. It's not about just having an employment opportunity, it's actually those individuals living in a remote community and having the opportunity to earn some money, um, you know, getting the kids a decent birthday or Christmas presents, get some experience, uh, get some qualifications um, and put back into community on a road that's going to essentially service them. Uh, for the rest of their life. Working out on the road is just something I suppose new and exciting. I mean, you learn a lot of new things and whole new language as well that goes around it. And the experience of, you know, jumping in the machines as well, going out and, you know, uh, working the road a bit sort of gives you a bit of sense of pride that you sort of did a bit of work on there. Most of the stakeholders on this particular project are, are Aboriginal groups and Aboriginal communities from Broome and the Dampier Peninsula. They include the communities as well as the TO groups as well as the um, businesses. So it's really important to have a good uh, relationship with all those different stakeholders um, and just understand what they, they want. And the most important thing you can ever do is just let them know what's going on. It's about the people in the end. So if we always um, understand that, no matter which community you're engaging with, it is about just respect and listening and being heard. And Main Road so far on this project has done a fantastic job. That's the feedback we've been getting, getting from the community. Okay, I'm uh, Brian Lee. I am the current chair of Jardinian Community. I'm hoping it um, brings our freight costs down. A lot less wear and tear on our vehicles. It just means that people who are not that wealthy can buy smaller cars. The last um, Christmas we had, we couldn't get our trucks in for weeks and weeks because yeah. it was flooded and it was inaccessible so we had to fly some stuff out and waited for the water to recede to um, go bring a truck in to bring our stuff here. Yeah. This road many years ago uh, the people driving through, through this road but they were driving through a road in the wet season they were driving through a river about a meter deep yeah. and they couldn't do their shopping nothing at all. Yeah. 1994, I lost my son in this road now. And I made a promise to myself that if we ever do start this project for the road, that I'll definitely try to get onto it and be on it until it's completed. And I made a promise to myself for that, yeah. It's not about being rich or it's not about you know, having things or having your own great it's, it's about what you give back to the community. Um, and, and, you know, like looking forward into the future, I think the future is the motivation where, you know, you're helping a lot of people, you know, get to where, where you are right now. And so that, you know, like they can, that they'll, they'll further, you know, help other people. So that's pretty much what I'm trying to do. I think the biggest thing is um, showing people that it, it can be done. You know, showing, showing the younger mob that it can happen to them. Through, through my son operating the, the equipment and then you know, him managing the business. You know, it, it's there for all the young indigenous boys to, you know, like reach for the sky, you know, grab a hold of um, uh, you know, things that, that they, they thought couldn't happen because I, I really thought it couldn't happen, you know. And 
you know, the opportunity was there. We grabbed it and we worked, we worked hard and, you know, we, we're not there at the moment, but, you know, we will get there because, you know, hard work.